What up, Tech is Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. So, if you are on the market looking for a portable content creator's USB C dock with all of the functionality that you are most likely going to need, which would be to connect to your external sources, your hard drives, your SSDs, to connect to an external monitor. And the device I am talking about is the Yoda Master 10 in 1 USB C docking station has a lot of features that I feel that most of us out here will need. This could replace a big cumbersome dock and just have something small and portable you can put away in your drawer. Who knows how you want to utilize it? I know how I want to utilize it. I want to throw it out the window right now. What? And this is the docking station I am talking about. It is quite nice and cute. I do like the rounded corners look there and the three schnazzy colors. Let's see what comes in this device right now. I'm gonna unbox it right in your face on the fly and make some ASMR unboxing. First and foremost in your box, you get your instructions here. So I don't think there's that much instructions just to let you know how to plug it in if you don't know how to plug something in. What? Also in the box is your nice little cheap little plastic thing that you get. Ooh, this is a nice space gray color here. I like the dark. You can't really see when I flash it towards the light like that. But when I turn it, you see how dark this device actually is. It's just feeling the body itself right off the rip. Nice aluminum metallic casing here. Cold to the touch. Heating ventilation along the bottom of that device to dissipate some of the heat that these things can generate. Nice, strong, sturdy uh, USB-C cable here, which will you you will connect to, which you, 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 which you will connect to your MacBook. I don't know, maybe your Steam Deck, your PC laptop. Let's look at the ports. What do we got? We have two SD card slots. One miniature SD, micro SD, as well as a standard SD, boasting about 100 megabytes. You have 3.0 USB ports. You have one, two, three of those straight away on the back there. Decent enough speed to do some video editing off of that. You have a headset port on here. I believe the headset port does both mic and headset, so you can conduct your video conference calls, I guess, gaming if you wanted to. And that's all we got for that side. Let's switch over to the other side. Starting with your power delivery, it is via USB-C. So through that port, you will get about 100 watt power. So power delivery is pretty decent there. So don't be afraid to connect something like a big power hungry, like a MacBook or even a gaming laptop, for example. 4K 30 FPS through that HDMI port we got there and 1080p. 60 obviously and we also have a 1080p vga port which will also do 1080p 60 and then you have a giga <coughs> i was trying to get through without coughing <coughs> my throat dried up for no apparent reason and last but not least you get yourself a nice gigabit lan port and on the front of the device you also get more heat dissipation ports where the actual USB C uh data cable comes out of all right and uh, with that let's just go ahead and connect this up and see what we get first through data transfer, right? Let's see how that works. Let's do it. And for our experiment for data transfer speeds, since we're running about five gigabits through this dock, we're gonna utilize the Crucial X6, which gets about 800 or so megabytes max, maybe eight, 10 you get from this device. So through a USB-C dock, typically any dock I've tested, 10 gigabits or five gigabits, I get about 500 more or less out of this specific SSD, right? So let's connect this dock straight into my Mac because how else are we gonna test it? Once you connect it, you're gonna get what you see right there in your face, which is uh, allow the accessory to connect. And you do want to, it comes in as a Genesis Logic 2.1 hub. Let's allow it because we don't have an option. So we click allow and you're ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is connect this to this dock. Just note that the USB-C port on the docking station itself is for power delivery only. And we see that it automatically pops up right here on my desktop as the Crucial X6. Select the target drive, which is our Crucial X6, which is fine. We go straight into the root, open that up, and we're gonna get the testing. Here we go. 
letting it run at about two gigs. We are maxing out at about 400 megabytes on the right. Let's see what the read is. And the read is a little bit less, 365 megs on the right. But let's give it some more data to see if we can get a little bit higher, right? Let's go here and do five gigs and let's start. Let's see if we can get past that 400, give it a little bit of momentum, right? We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. All right, here we go. Uh, so it looks like we are not going to get past 390-ish, right? 400. And on the read, we are probably going to cap out here at 364. Somewhat kind of what I expect every time with just about every docking station, at least with every docking station I've tested. Now for the SD card speed test, we're going to use this eh, basic SD card that I have here that does about 100 megabytes. I have yet to see it do that much speed, maybe when I'm recording directly off my camera, but never anywhere else. So I don't expect to get that 100 via this dock or even directly off the MacBook, but we'll do both. I'm gonna test directly from the Mac itself and see what kind of speed I get off of that and then off of the dock. So let's connect directly to my MacBook M1, which has its own built-in SD card reader. Switching over, we will see that uh, allow the accessory. That's exactly what we kind of want to do. We have our little EOS digital SD card. So let's point black magic to that drive and let's start it off and see what we're getting. Yep, directly off of the Mac, I'm getting a max of write speeds at four. Wow, I put like five gigs. It's going to take forever. Let's stop that. 40 megabytes a second out of the proclaimed 100 that this specific SD card states that it can do coming directly off of this MacBook. So that's just the right, but the read may show something different. So let's let the right finish and we're gonna jump right into the read in three, two, one, let's go. Let's see what this read speed looks like. And yep, we are getting a nice 90 megabytes of speeds here on the read side. So, okay, we get some of what they proclaimed it can do. Let's eject our drive and we're going to connect this to our docking station as promised and run a test. One gig of test via the EOS drive. Here we go. Okay, we are getting close to a little bit more than half of what the actual port on the MacBook does directly connected. Something I kind of expected. All right, so let this run through real quick. We're gonna just calm it down and maybe I can count it down to 20 seconds. I don't know how fast it's gonna go. I'm gonna look, 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 it's not going to take too long. What's going on? Hurry up, we're gonna do a count from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 
4K 60 refresh rate docking station, USB-C hubs, probably dual 4K 60. Then check out this video right here because I think this is where it's located. So click on that and it will take you to a very powerful USB-C dock, right? Clicking because clicking works as well.